welcome to Man That's Cooking. In this video, we're going to show you how to make pellet smoked chicken legs. Yes, this is a uh, inexpensive and easy recipe. We're going to start by spraying duck fat on all sides of the chicken legs. So the duck fat's going to act as a binder to hold the seasoning to the chicken legs, and it's also going to act as a, basically a bronzer. And uh, it's going to make that skin nice and tan like your chicken legs just got off of Miami Beach. So man here has got three different types of seasoning rubs. He's going to apply it to three different groups of chicken legs. You can see here he's got Holy Voodoo. Uh, before that uh, was using Plowboy's Yardbird. And on the final group of chicken legs, or drums, whatever you want to call them, he's going to use this uh, Traeger Chicken Rub. That's pretty good. It's got like a nice lemony flavor to it. Of course, use your own rubs that you like, or if you like to make your own, even better. So the final seasoning is going on. And as mentioned before, chicken legs are relatively cheap per pound, so you can uh, stretch your dollar pretty far. And uh, these are pretty easy to make, too. Looking good so far, right? Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious. So if you have a top rack, go ahead and place chicken legs on the top rack. And um, man's gonna try his best to keep his uh, seasoning groups together and remember which, <laughs> which ones are which. But it's gonna be like the shell game here, you'll see. It's gonna get a little confusing. So this pellet smoker is running at 240 degrees Fahrenheit. The pellets that are being used is a mixture of pecan and some competition blend. And when it comes to chicken, um, a lot of stuff can work with this, like mesquite, um, hickory, uh, you can use apple. If you tried maybe whiskey barrel before, that's pretty good. Um, also, any of the competition blends that are, you know, decent competition blends, not the, not the cheap, cheap flavorless stuff. Alright, so you can see here these chicken legs are starting to take a little bit of color. It's been about an hour, so we're going to spray them down with duck fat and flip them over. And that way we can spray the other side with duck fat once again. Because you know, this chicken's got to work on its Miami tan. Now, you can see that the chicken nearest the exhaust port is cooked a lot more than on the other side. And that's because that's the hot zone. All the hot air escapes through that end. And so man here is going to start rotating the legs from the cooler side over to the hotter side. So be aware of the hot zones in your smoker. It could be very different from this one. And just make sure that you rotate stuff so you don't overcook stuff. Hey, starting to look good, right? We're getting there. And we're starting to get that Miami tan. Take a look at this. Yeah, South Beach style. Okay, so these are going to cook for about two hours. So man here, he's going to pull these chicken legs uh, before they're done. They're getting close. They're probably in the 165-ish range or so. And he's going to place them on a uh, gas grill with a medium heat flame going. Now what that's going to do is it's going to tighten up that chicken skin because right now it's just kind of a little bit mushy. And you want to glaze these chicken legs. Um, after they cook for about 10 minutes or so on this grill and uh, that barbecue sauce is gonna be even tastier on this grill when the fire hits the uh, sauce and caramelizes the sugar in the sauce. Once you brush barbecue sauce on all sides of the chicken legs you can keep the lid open at this point. Now if you don't have a grill you can either crank up the heat in your smoker or just leave it as it is and let it continue to smoke. Although your chicken skin might be a little bit chewy. And by the way, man's using a combination of sauces from Stubbs and Sweet Baby Ray's. All right, so now you're gonna get the best of both worlds. You've got the smoke from the smoker. You've got the 
fire flavor from the grill. You've got that caramelized sugar or corn syrup flavor going on. Now, one thing's for sure. I don't know about you, but I think that there's no way to figure out which chicken legs have which seasoning. I mean, that's lost. That's gone. And it's probably hard to tell how many times this guy has flipped these chicken legs around. And look at that, he's, he's OCD in action right there, getting them all aligned. Anyway, so you want to cook these until they reach 175 Fahrenheit. Then they're good to come off. Food porn flyover. Oh yeah, take a look at that. I know this is making you hungry. I know if you love barbecue chicken, chicken legs, your mouth's watering right now. So you saw how easy this was to do on a pellet smoker. Hope you try this out. Check out our website, manthatscooking.com, for more recipes. Click like, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your barbecue.